Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get to your deployment point is you take your T-post, uh, select an appropriate spot in the ground, and then um, place your T-post into the ground and secure it in place as much as possible using a mallet. So when you are putting your T-post into the ground, try as much as possible to get as much of the bottom into the ground, ideally up until the little winged parts of the T-post, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so the next thing you want to do when you get to the field is just to double check that you have moved the switch from the USB off to the custom position. What you should see if you turn it around is that there should be a steady red light and also a flashing green light. And when you place the interior unit back into the compartment that the microphone there in the corner lines up with the outside microphone hole. Then when you come to mount it on the T-post, you can use the Velcro strap to sort of first hold it into place. And then we also recommend using at least one zip tie, um, which can be threaded through the T-post over and around the top of the audio moth, just to hold it into place and make sure it's nice and secure. And then once that's all done, then you're ready to go and it's set to record.